Hello, this is Jess from the Enimate development team. In this video I will demonstrate the usage of Enimate with Maya. To get started we first have to download the plugin, which can be found under the official plugin and Maya. Download this file and save it under your user directory, My Documents and Maya. In addition, downloading this Enimate profile will make calibration easier. Open the chip file and unchip its contents. And you will want to you will want to unchip these files in the Maya directory. Now all we have to do is open Maya. Okay, I now have Maya open, and we can now load the plugin. This can be done by going to the MEL command line and typing MI mate receiver. And here you can choose where to save the plugin. I'm just going to go custom, and here you can see the plugin. I have two of them as I had as I already had one of them loaded, so let's just remove one of them. And let's open the plugin. Now we have to go to Enimate and <coughs> and change our profile. In Maya you can't use these bone names which have a period in them. So we have to import the profile we downloaded earlier. And all my bones are now named properly. In the Maya plugin there are three options. The first one of them automatically generates locators, so you don't have to manually create them. The second one is used for recording your keyframes. And the third one is used for creating a general parent object for all your locators. This way if your nodes are somewhat off, you can just scale one of them. So let's start receiving data and see what we can do. To actually record these keyframes, we have to first select the range. I'm just going to go to 5000 frames and hit play. And finally just stop playing. Now as we go in the scene we can see that the locators are moving around. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy using Enimate.